In today's video we're having a look at the Recon T1. It's a digital tape measure. This digital tape measure has an e-ink readout on the side, it has measurements on the top and it has multiple functions within the unit. This is going to be a quick rundown on what my feelings are on this digital tape measure, who it might be for and to give you a quick overview of the items that are available for you. The main reason that I've purchased this digital tape measure for myself is that I have to wear glasses when I use a tape measure now and I can actually read these tape measure marks quite happily without glasses without having to see what the tape is. Quite often when I'm working I'll take a measurement, go out to cut it and then forget what the measurement is. Now with the e-ink on the side these measurements stay permanently on there until you delete them. You can either delete them individually or if you hold your finger on the delete button you can delete all of them in one go. This has the ability to remember 1000 measurements in the e-ink readout and it also links to an app on your phone as well. Some people have been mentioning that it's a heavy tape measure. Personally I don't actually find it heavy at all. It's comfortable in my hand. I usually use it with three fingers on the side, one on the edge and then I can reach all the buttons that I need to with my thumb. The weight of this is 822 grams. But if you had the Fat Max 8 meter tape, that's 570 grams just for a normal tape measure. It's only 8 ounces heavier for the digital tape measure. But it's not as small as a little Stanley 8 meter tape measure. The buttons on it. It has auto lock, which you can quite happily push in and out slightly if you want to adjust the measurements. And you press this button in and it folds in as a normal tape measure. Press the button in again and you can pull it out without any friction. If you were to press it in and pull this lever up so the red light shows up the red mark shows up on here. This is now a free range tape measure. This button on the side, when you have your measurement, if you press the button, it then puts the measurement on the e-ink on the side of it. As I've mentioned, you can press this button multiple times and you can store up to a thousand measurements if need be on the side. This is very handy for when you're doing stud work and you want to take eight cuts out to your chop saw, all the measurements are here ready for you. On the side we have a menu button. This allows us to toggle with the arrow buttons so we can do front of tape measurement and back of tape measurement. This has now put a line on here and it's flashing to allow me to now take measurements from the front of the tape to the back of the tape. If I want to change it over, I just press that button twice and it changes straight back to normal measurements to the front of the tape. Press the menu button twice again and it goes straight back to the back of the tape. The next function that we have is relative function. If we go into this, it now zeroes the tape from wherever the tape is so that you can pull out another say 221 millimeters and if I wanted to relative it again off of that edge I can press it a couple of times and it then zeroes back out again and I can carry on pulling the tape out. The next one on the menu is show center. If we select this now this will half the measurement that we've got showing. So we've got 480 millimeters showing, center is 240. So you can quickly do measurements to the center marks. This is very handy for people who are using inches as it does all the fractions for you. The next one allows you to flip the screen if you are reading it from the opposite side. 
and then the last one on it is clear all. If you have multiple items selected you can clear everything so it goes back to a normal tape measure straight away. The next button down is your trash menu so we can go up to a measurement and we can trash it or if you keep your finger on the trash it then says press again and it will clear all the measurements in the e ink. Next button after that is allowing you to do millimetres, metres, inches, inches, plain inches, feet in inches. As you can tell I don't really understand inches that well but you get multiple options of inches then normal feet, centimetres and then I'm back to my millimetres again. This button on the side here is your on off button but it also has another trick and it puts a green laser mark down where your tape measure is. So I can quickly just mark the edge of the green laser. And the side to mark it is actually this side, not that side if you are being extremely accurate. If you check out my previous videos, you'll see a review on the Vito apron, which I still love wearing all the time. And the holder for the tape measure fits nicely on the side and it's comfortably out of the way. The tape quite happily flips in and then it's got a locking mechanism on it, which just grabs it up. And then you can open it up and take the e-ink tape measure out quite happily. This is a very nice design. Before when I was doing measurements I would either do it on a notepad, then I tried digital notepads to try and cut down on the amount of waste on paper. And then I started taking photographs on my phone and in the end when I had multiple cuts to do I'd actually take a video and then just play the video back. Generally I use this tape measure to do all my measurements on the site and then I use a normal tape measure when I'm on the chop saw to cut the pieces. This is how I've always worked in the past by running two tape measures anyway so it works perfectly. As I say I've got small hands but it fits in my hand nicely. I don't feel it heavy at all and the grip, the way they've got the grip working it hasn't fallen out of my hand yet. In theory, it's good for a 12 foot drop onto concrete. Personally, I wouldn't want to try it, but at least that has the option of doing it. If we have a very quick look at the app on the phone, I'm not heavily into the app other than just showing where my measurements are. So these are some previous areas that I've measured. And once you cut them, you can tick the box and then they show up in your completed area. So if we go to area three, which is a new area I've just done, and then we pull the tape measure out. If we press the plus button, this automatically fills out on this form. If we turn the phone off now, we can open up, we can do another measurement And then a third measurement, if we go back into the phone, these measurements have all populated into the app, even though the phone wasn't actually turned on. Just as long as the app is running and you have an area open, it will populate into that area. As I say, we can click into it, we can give it a label, we can do what type of mitre cut it might be. So if we were doing multiple measurements all at once we could add the add a label and say left side and now that one is showing up as the left cut it's a little bit more long-winded doing it this way but it's a lot easier than doing pen and paper when you're trying to hold the tape measure and write down your measurements go to another measurement click it and it just populates straight away. It's got a lot of other options in the app but this is all I want it for is just to remember my measurements. 
all of these measurements that we just populated into the app are also showing up on the e-ink on the side of it as well. The only thing this thing is missing is when you have the laser on, it would be nice to have a digital mark on it so that you knew when you were plumb. Generally, I can tell when I'm level or plumb, but it would have been nice just to have that option on the display. Well, I've already mentioned who this is for. Um, for me, it's because I wear glasses and quite often I haven't got glasses on me and I can quite happily see the measurements on the tape measure. The tape measure itself is reading the barcodes on the bottom of the tape and they've shown these being scratched up and still working happily. When I purchased this, I also purchased two spare tapes because you can actually replace the blade as well. And I also bought a spare battery. In the back here, this is where the battery lives. And then you pull the door up slightly and this is where you charge the unit. It does have a lanyard strap holder on it, so you can use it at height. And it also has a belt clip, which nicely clips onto your belt. Overall, I'm very happy with the purchase. I'm pleased I bought it. I can't recommend it to everyone because it is an expensive item, but for what it does for me in remembering the tape measure measurements so I don't get it wrong, it's worth every penny. I hope this quick overview of the tape measure has been helpful. Please subscribe and give my videos a thumbs up if you can, and I look forward to the next review. Have a good weekend. Okay.